Hello awesome people, this is Jude from Awesome Health CG. Today we are going to make a beautiful snow shader in Maya and Redshift. Let's check out some real snow and see what properties it has. If you want to go straight to the making of it, the timestamps are in the description. So the first thing we notice when we work with snowy objects is the uneven shape. Uh, we can either model this into our object or we can use displacement. In this suit, we are going to use the displacement to get the unevenness on the surface. As the light comes down and hits our object, we can see that it's scattering all across the surface. So there's a lot of subsurface scattering happening and it gets darker towards the bottom of it because there's no light coming from the bottom. So we need some subsurface scattering as well. You can see there's a lot of small glistening specular highlights. We need to add that as well in snow is that there are no reflections at least they're not observable as reflections i think when you have reflections the snow kind of start feel more like ice it kind of loses all this fluffiness and it looks watery and melty when it's reflecting once you open maya let's make sure that we are working in the same scale units let's go to windows preferences and in the settings make sure you are in centimeters working units centimeters uh, let's make a sphere and give it a radius of 2.5 subdivisions 20 is good if you don't have 20 make it 20 we're gonna need to displace this sphere let's add some subdivisions to this guy so we'll go to mesh smooth just reset it for cleanliness uh, make the divisions 2 and press smooth delete the history edit delete by type history okay so now we have a clean sphere before we get into any shader work let's make a simple light rig uh, i'm going to make a area light i'm going to bring it up i'm not going to change uh, any attributes for this guy and also I'm going to create a dome light. I'm going to turn off the environment visibility and I'm going to reduce the exposure to minus two and I'm going to put an HDRI map onto it. Uh, any HDRI would work as long as it has a sky on it. We just need some fill light coming in. Let's do a test render and see how it looks like. Okay. Uh, this looks good to me. Okay. Now we have a little right light rig. Uh, let's make a camera. Okay, now we have a camera which is locked, that's good. Now we need to turn on the displacement settings for the geometry. So we are gonna select the sphere, control A to go to the attribute editor. We go to the shape node of it and we go to redshift. We're gonna turn on the tessellation and then we are gonna turn on the displacement. And uh, we are gonna reduce the minimum edge length to 2.5. To create this snow shader, we are gonna combine two shaders. We are going to create a default redshift material and a carpet material and blend them together to get our shader looking good. Let's make a default redshift material. Open the hyper shader. You go to redshift, redshift material. We're going to call this the snow base. Snow base. And for now, I'm just going to reduce the reflections. Uh, let's get the displacement working before we do any changes to the shader. Uh, I'm going to create two noise nodes. Red shift nodes. Red. Nice. So we are going to create two of these. And the first one, I'm going to name it Big Shapes. Um, we have so many things floating around. Let's clean it up a bit. Uh, I, I just selected my noise nodes and the shader. I'm just going to place this uh, input output button. So it's going to clean up the view and we're just going to have what we need. So we have the big shapes noise and this one called small detail. Details. Okay. So on the big shapes, we're going to change few attributes. Uh, we are going to change the remap value max to 0.5 and then we are going to change the complexity to 2. Okay. 
to connect this noise node to the displacement of this uh, sphere we are going to need a displacement node a uh, redshift displacement node we are going to connect the big shapes into the texture map input and we are going to change the scale to 0.1 and I'm going to connect this displacement node to our shading group displacement material I'm not sure whether we assign the shader the snow base shader to the sphere so let's do it now select the shader right click on the snow base assign material to selection let's do a test render and see how it looks so this is the render that we did before let's do a still okay so we are getting some shapes that's good so let's connect in the small details let's create another displacement node connects our small details to the displacement node okay we need to do some attribute changes on the small details noise node as well all this would be the default value and the complexity would be 8 and the frequency scale would be 4, four. that's good and we connect it to a displacement node and we are going to change the scale to 0.2 now we need to combine those these two displacement nodes into a single displacement node and for that we are going to create a displacement blender bring it in and to the base we are going to connect the big shape displacement this one and to the layer zero we are going to connect the small details and the blend weight would be 0.5 uh, let's connect the blend displacement blender to the displacement material of the sphere it's just going to replace the thing you know so now we have both of our nice nodes connected to this displacement blender and the displacement blender is connected to the material right here so oh i almost forgot one thing in the displacement blender you have to turn on the additive mode so it adds on top of each other let's do a test render and see how it looks okay uh, the displacement is looking good uh, let's go and work on the subsurface scattering let's go into the snow base uh, we are going to bring up the weight that we reduced last time and uh, we're going to change quite a lot of things here we're going to change the color diffuse color to 0.9 roughness 0.5 and we're going to change the reflection color to white it's already white that's good the weight 0.25 remember we wanted to have um we don't want a lot of reflections we don't want it to look melty we want it to look fluffy and the roughness is 0.5 IUR is 2 then we'll get into the subsurface scattering in the general let's increase the amount to 1 it, it, it's like turning on the effect the radius scale is 1 that's good for us and on layer 1 the color looks a bit yellowish we want to make it white let's do a test run and see how it looks this is looking good but for some reason this top part is burning I think we need to move the light a bit far away from the thing so let's turn on the interactive renderer and move the light slightly further from the object yeah much better and also reduce the exposure we have minus 2 let's put it to minus 2.5 so now we have the subsurface scattering happening on the shader now we need to add the small specular highlights that's glistening all around so let's stop the interactive render so for this glints we are going to use the car paint shader specifically we are going to use the metal flex on the car paint shader we are going to layer it on top of our shader this shader let's make a car paint shader car let's type car and we have redshift car paint delete the shading group we don't need it and we are going to name this guy spec hits okay yeah i also want to keep it a bit bigger so you guys can see it okay let's connect the spec hits to our share to our material because we're going to test it right yeah, it's, it got disconnected from the snow base and it got it got connected to the snow hits spec hits my bad. 
So let's change some uh, attributes on the spec kits. We're going to change the pigment color to white because snow is white. The weight is zero. And then I'm going to go to specular and I'm going to reduce this one. We don't need any specular. And I'm going to turn on highlights only. Then I'm going to go to Fresno control and zero these guys out. Then I'm going to open up Metal Flex. In general, I'm going to change the weight to 5. Glossiness to 0.5. Highlights only. Uh, in Fresno Control, we're going to set the facing reflected to 0.75. Uh, perpendicular reflection, we're going to leave it at 1. Curve factor is going to be 1. And on the definition, the density is going to be 0.25. Decay distance is going to be 0 and variation is going to be 1 and the scale 0 0.005 we're going to leave it as it is on the clear coat reflection we are going to reduce the weight to 0 because we don't want it let's do a test render and see how it looks so we have connected this guy onto our shading group so when we render it yes that's what we're going to see that's good let's combine these two shaders so we are going to blend snow base with the spec kits so for that we are going to create a blend redshift material blender we're going to delete the shading group because we already have one and on that we're going to connect the snow base as the base shader base color and the spec kits as the material color and i'm going to turn on additive and i'm going to change the blend color to 0.35 Let's connect the blend material into our shading group. Let's see how this looks. There you go. That's it for this tune. Hope you guys learned something new from this. Please like, comment and subscribe to this channel for more awesome tunes like this. And as usual, thank you for watching.